Hello, it's a great pleasure to present at the 13th Asia Oceania Epilepsy Congress. So I will go to debate that uh, the topic of the monotherapy is better than the prototherapy and any app effect on the development. So I will try to convince you that the monotherapy have more impact on the, on the development of the anti-seizure medication. So I have nothing to disclose. So let me introduction uh, the history of the development of the anti-seizure medication. So that's why we have introduction of the over 15 new compounds in the past 25 years. Overall proportion of patients with refractory epilepsy remained unchanged. The histor historically treatment prefer, prefer at the general favor of the polar therapy prior to the erosion of the modern anti-seizure medication. I try to point it out that now we move beyond from the polytherapy and we go further and further to use the monotherapy rather than to use the polytherapy. So this uh, uh, the graph show the uh, 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 development of the drug with the first generation to the second and the third generation. So uh, even looking about the history of the drug development from the early 20th century standard anti-seizure medication traditional drug like the phenytoy, phenobarbital, uh, often combined with the polytherapy. Because at the time we have a PVC belief that the polytherapy was more efficacious than the monotherapy. Have, but that's a uh, belief that we change now. Uh, so however, during the 1970s, several studies have been suggested that monotherapy was equally efficacious, less toxic, and more tolerant than the polytherapy. So since then, more epilepsy experts have been advocated monotherapy as a preferred approach in epilepsy rather than to use the polar therapy. So when we're looking about the drug trial, it will then based from this uh, classical trial by the uh, Petiquan body in uh, public in year 2000, uh, say that the 47% of the seizure fee with the first anti-seizure medication we tried it and then another additional 30% seizure freedom with the second monotherapy. So we account about nearly 60% patient became seizure free with the monotherapy. So when the patient go further with the polytherapy, polytherapy only 10% of the case became seizure free. So we have only the small number of the 10% of the case only who became seizure free. After that, the patient refractory. So refractory, you need to go to further with other alternative treatment like the surgery or something like that. So first generation anti-seizure medication received approved the FDA for the monotherapy for the particular seizure title. But also when we come to uh, beyond to the second generation, we see that uh, uh, most of the majority of the second generation anti-seizure medication approved with the adjunctive therapy. But because why, why is it something like that? Because of regulatory obstacle for the approved at the monotherapy. So nowadays we try to do more trials and we have to be changed, something to change it. For, for example, like the current FDA standard require the superiority trial decided since the possible control study are considered unethical epilepsy. So why we have to favor favoring the monotherapy? Because the current treatment guideline recommend monotherapy in most cases because the data indicate that the similar efficacy and better patient tolerability compared with the uh, poly polytherapy. Polytherapy may only minimize increase the seizure control, it can substantially increase the toxicity uh, and causing more trouble with the drug interaction, can causing seizure activation, uh, have a trouble with the comorbid depression, and also leads up to sudep, and also the trouble with the non-compliant, and also the cost, but we use a particular in the uh, European country, we use uh, so many, many drugs, a uh, patient may be unaffordable with the uh, cost of the drug. So why does the monotherapy fail that? Because some patients will say, oh, uh, polytherapy may be better, because the monotherapy did not work. But if you're looking more carefully, sometimes the monotherapy fail because there's some uh, uh, many, many factors. For example, like the, you miss uh, diagnosis, something like that, because some patient maybe has syncope or maybe non epileptic seizure. And also maybe you use the wrong drug for the long seizure trial. For example, patient may have absorbed, but you use some drug that's good for the focal seizure, 
for example, use a cover screen in the patient with axon seizure or something like that. Also, have uh, some patient have patient have an uh, intolerability adverse effect like the depression, uh, sedation, cognitive problem, or we or maybe we, we use a uh, uh, problem have an uh, idiosyncratic reaction like the Steven Johnson from the uh, genetic factor, something like that. And also uh, another uh, common uh, usually happen as well with the non-compliant uh, to the medication because the patient may be missing the tablet and then they still have ongoing seizure. But if you're on the have a good compliant, uh, they might be have a became seizure free when on only the monotherapy. Or sometimes you use the over treatment, it might be causing some more trouble with the increased more seizure or maybe toxic from the drug or maybe from the pharmacogenetic factor. So if you saw this uh, factor, monotherapy is still the best uh, uh, treatment to better control the seizure. Also the motor therapy now they have been approved for uh, good for the, in the sub, uh, uh, specific population. So motor therapy is preferred for a uh, particular patient with the, for example, like the in women in elderly or patient with the comorbid condition, for example, like the elderly, uh, for example, monotherapy with the lamotegin, levetiracetam is good for the elderly. So we not prefer to use the polytherapy in elderly. Also, the in the female reproductive age or maybe the pregnancy, uh, you prefer to use monotherapy because of late teratogenicity to the woman with the pregnancy and reproductive age. Uh, particularly, we use the monotherapy with the lamotegin. Uh, even though the patient have a liver failure, you try to avoid with the drug. Uh, too much uh, drug with the polytherapy we might be have a uh, drug interaction. So limited stem monotherapy or maybe lamotegine monotherapy or carbapetin monotherapy might be the best choice. Even though the renal failure, uh, lamotegine, the valproic acid monotherapy is also very good for renal failure patient. Even though also the patient have depression, we use a uh, uh, monotherapy with the lamotegine or uh, valproic acid might be good uh, to better control the seizure and also uh, better control for depression as well. So uh, currently due to the ethical reason, investigational compound most initially tested adjunctive treatment in patients with uncontrolled epilepsy. But nowadays, as we do more try at the clinical try, that try, clinical anti-seizure anti medication development program, monotherapy can be achieved through uh, different uh, route for the drug trial. For example, uh, now we have a solo trial to do the, with the drug detection, uh, core medication, anti seizure medication from a previous polytherapy to uh, get the laboratory for the monotherapy. Or we know to do the trial switching from the one monotherapy to another via the short adjunctive period, or maybe introducing with the new anti seizure medication with the new case of the seizure, so get the approval for use of monotherapy in epileptic patient. So following the approval of anti-seizure medication at adjunctive therapy, at the commonly done at the second generation anti-seizure medication, but now we, we move to beyond further with the further development for the monotherapy used under the different laboratory framework in different in US and in European country. In the US, Monotherapy efficacy assessed at the drug resistant patient have traditional employ either withdrawal to monotherapy or withdrawal to possible, but this approach has been less ethical concern and quite a controversy issue. In European medical agency, except that we run the trial with the direct comparison of the new drug with the existing drug in the new onset epilepsy to demonstrate that equivalent or non infinity adequate to get approval of the monotherapy of the new drug in epilepsy. Several drugs have been gained monotherapy approval uh, in the past, last, uh, in the last few years, in the last uh, past few years, using the non inferior decided, including the Levita system and sodizamide are used at the monotherapy in epilepsy at the flexible dose design with the control uh, release of the calcipine at the comparator. So that obstacle has been less many issues about discussion, whether we can do anything to uh, 
something that approved of a model therapy as soon as possible because we believe that the regulatory restriction prevent or delay more therapy approved for whatever the new drug is harmful to the patient. So, and also the loss opportunity for patient to get the new drug uh, uh, used as a more therapy as soon as possible. Recently, it proposed that the re-examination of the policy of the separate approved for anti-seizure medication at the motor therapy and adjunctive therapy. So they have a, a, a proposed that the anti-seizure medication should be approved for treatment of the specific seizure type. Uh, at the same time, approval for motor therapy and also at the adjunctive therapy uh, at the same time to get the early approval for motor therapy as soon as possible. So nowadays we move beyond from only the medication for the seizure type. We develop the new anti-seizure medication for precision medicine for the target therapy. So a shift from the symptomatic seizure control that target underlying biologic mechanism. Talking about this approach, precision medicine is to certify into, into the subcorporation based on the different in the disease susceptibility prognosis and the treatment response. So precision medicine is promised to get the maximum outcome, minimize adverse drug reaction, that's the same purpose as the monotherapy, providing clinical and socioeconomic benefits, that's the same aim as the monotherapy to get the less cost, hit the target, less toxic, and get the good outcome. So it looked like the, uh, the target specific type of the seizure, convincing Cho at the past, after we introduction of the, like for example, Vicabatrin for the West syndrome, Silipentol for the Dow West syndrome, and the anti-seizure medication specific effective, effective treatment of very disturbing type of the seizure, for example, like the drop attack, tonic seizure, would address a significant unmet medical needed, like the the, from the trial show that lufinamide might be reduced the number of the drop attack significantly, or even though the CBD oil might be get the more benefit, in particular in the epileptic syndrome, like the, in the line of gastroc syndrome and the drowsy syndrome. So that's uh, all I try to convince you that the the move forward of uh, anti seizure medication to go with the target driving therapeutic strategy might be. Uh, make the monotherapy is quite the most very important for the drug development in this way. So for example, like the mTOR pathway, is the target of the lapamycin, that's the regulate about the cell growth, differentiation, proliferation, and metabolism in the brain. So clinical use of lapamycin, preventing epilepsy, particular patient with the tubular sclerosis, is be, being evaluated. Also the many, many targeted, like the uh, GABA A receptor, like the allopecnanolone uh, with the SAC 547 medication, or even though the fufelamine with the acting on the serotonin reuptake inhibitor, uh, or even though the pitocrisan act on the histamine 3 receptor, wanoctamide with the GABA A receptor agonist, this means that uh, we develop the new drug with the target driven with the one drug, like the I was show up that this strategy is mean that monotherapy will be, uh, it's very important to get uh, this achieved. So also the, like for example, like the genetic and epigenetic target by target at the single molecule uh, via the genetic, uh, even though the inflammation pathway like the uh, target at the frame inflammation because we know that inflammation might be causing the water seizure. So this uh, strategy, I will summarize in this picture. So this uh, monotherapy is the right answer for anti-seizure medication development in the precision medicine for the treatment with it, improved the uh, tolerability, improved effectiveness, because uh, when we can specific to the target, even though the genetic, in, even though the inflammation, uh, immune, or maybe from the uh, a drug resistant target, something like that, uh, monotherapy will be the right direction to answer this uh, new drug development. So in, it, it's in my two last slide on my summary, we trend up the anti-seizure 
medication development from the past and to the present and the future. So in the early in the past, we use more polytherapy, we call it polytherapy early because we believe that the uh, polytherapy is a good drug to effective in epilepsy. But nowadays we change the mind now. We move from 1960. We use at the therapeutic level of the drug. We use at the seizure type. So, and then that's the basic of the monotherapy. Until uh, at, in the early 1990, uh, we move from the second generation anti-seizure medication. And all we come to beyond to the 21 uh, century with the third generation anti-seizure medication. We still, even though we're on the adjunctive therapy, majority is still on the adjunctive therapy, but we try to move beyond go to the monotherapy. But because we obstacle with the regulatory framework, we try to change about the, uh, the method, how to uh, land the trident. So this uh, I call the transition from the polytherapy to the monotherapy earlier. And then we come to the at present. Uh, many second generation have been approved now, keep going on with the monotherapy. For example, like the early carbocepine, lacosamide, and it will uh, lastly with the plenpanel approved at the monotherapy now. And then in the future, with the novel target driven therapeutic strategy, that uh, uh, we hit the target. So the monotherapy will be the majority of the drug to get answer that we move beyond. So I would say, I will assure you that the monotherapy is very important uh, for our drug development in the present now and in the future. Thank you very much for your attention.